Okay, so I'm making another Sabbath uh, walk vlog. I'm with my dad. <laughs> so yeah, today we recorded uh, the chalk festival in Sackville. That was it. That was cool. That was kind of fun. It really was. That was yeah. That was worth taking my uh, doing the walk there. It really was. Yeah, there was some. There was some really impressive. Uh, the pieces there. Yeah, and there was stuff from the little kids that were not so impressive. Yeah. I, I like the body tracing like there were corpses left on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I, as a kid I would have done that. <laughs> yeah, and you draw like the eyes in there. It, it looks like... It's like... It, it, one of them looked like some kind of... Uh, Slime monster or whatever. <laughs> yeah, well, they were just basic shapes of a no, a yeah. a human. Uh, yeah, you could say human could have been an alien, <laughs> something that was bipedal. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, no, no real artistic skill needed. Basic body proportions. That was it. Yeah. Just when I uh, when I went in there uh, last time. Uh, the door of his trailer was in the uh, it was in the uh, yeah yeah I moved it back I leaned uh, it to the stuff I didn't think that was so good yeah <laughs> I feel bad about that trailer because I uh, well he tore the top off of it to make a cargo trailer out of it that, uh, that was his business I as a little camper I would have loved to have had that yeah the little teardrop thing you know basically a bed for two people and a little bit of storage by your feet pull it with a minimal size car. I could have handled that. I think your mom would have got claustrophobic sleeping in life or something like that. It yeah. feels like a coffin. <laughs> <laughs> well you could uh, I would have I would have been able to handle it. <laughs> it would be worse if you actually made a trailer out of a coffin. But <laughs> no, if I made a trailer I'd make it kinda like this one was. Yeah. That's that's what I'd that's what I'd want for traveling. You need I would need something that could be pulled with a small car because I'm never gonna be able to afford one of these hundred and fifty thousand dollar campers. And yeah. yeah, a little trailer like that pulled behind a regular regular small car, something fuel efficient, but it's light enough that it's not going to cause the car any real harm. Mm-hmm. You know, a little more wear and tear of course, but uh, something they could be used and it would allow us to travel. Yeah. We could go where we wanted. I I, I really enjoyed that. We've already got the little uh, propane stove thing. Bring yeah. Some kind of an ice chest that, that would keep things cold. Some kind of breather thing. Mm -hmm. All of the uh, the older uh, the older camp stove is uh, is smaller and uh, but it needs to be. Uh, it needs to be. Uh, oh, it's, it's done. Yeah. I think it's done. There's too much rust in bad places. But the uh, uh, yeah. one with the little oven in it and everything that uh, that little stove still works. We proved that uh, during one of our power outages here. We were yeah. able to hook it up and run it. Yeah. Ugh. In fact, I'm planning to put it in that building that we're. Uh, we're working on building, mm -hmm. working on it, doing foundation work for it. We get it all ready, and then uh, when we're ready, if uh, we're ready to pull the trigger on the money, yeah, we will build it. The uh, what is it? If I uh, if I was there to uh, to uh, to be part of the chalk festival, um, I would have drawn that freaking revolver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought the cicada. It, it was uh, it was an artistic ter interpretation, but you could see that it was a cicada. It was actually pretty cool. I like yeah. that. So, but you'd have to look at my video to see it. So. Yeah. But like, uh, yeah, I drew a revolver yesterday. Um, I'm. The uh, I did do some uh, I did take a picture of it, but 
that was before some slight modifications that I did later to make it look a little better. So yeah. I'll so probably it looks, like, it looks like what you drew. It, yeah. It, it doesn't look like something else. Yeah. And I just drew that with a uh, with my journal pen. <laughs> it's like a a better quality doodle. <laughs> really? It, Except that it was a doodle. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's well done. I uh, I liked it. Yeah. You can see the uh, black screen here. They did something of a Yeah. That's why I mentioned it to Mom earlier today. But yeah. We could make some black cherry jam. Yeah, if we could get all the pit, pits out of it. I, uh, I'm i yeah. concerned about that. Black cherry jelly would be easier. But, uh, we'll have to look up some recipes and see what can be done. Because your mom's going to end up working on that. I don't really have time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll help pick them. No problem there. It's like, oh, jam it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I hope the wind is not screwing up the audio. It probably is. It probably is. I uh, I hope I don't have much yeah. trouble with the chop. I just hope that it's not too bad. Like, I hope that it's not to the point where you can't hear us. On the bright side, we're able to go for a walk. It could have been heavy rain here. Yeah. We got sprinkled pretty good this morning. Uh. But yeah. Cramping along here. And uh, that, I recall that, that bowling ball and rock is still on the side here somewhere. And you kicked it off to the side? Yeah, I pushed it on the side. Um, there it is. <laughs> yeah. A freaking useless rock because it's round. You can't really. Well, you can put it in a hole with other stuff. Well, yeah. Space. You take it up and put it in that foundation we're uh, we're working on. <laughs> yeah. That's about the only thing that'll be that it'll be useful for. <laughs> because uh, it's so round that you just roll away. Like uh, yeah. The uh, the flat rocks are the really good ones. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can get some pretty weirdly shaped shale. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the. They don't always have a good crop. I yeah. had heard from somebody that they do real well every other year, but that hasn't been the case because the last two years weren't very good. The year yeah. before that was pretty good, but this looks like it's going to be a pretty good crop this year. But yeah. So that's we why just, if we're going to do something. Yeah. Good, this is a good year to do it. We need to work on it. What's this one? That one. That is pin cherry. Uh. Cool. Not exactly <laughs> the same thing, but you can see the way the uh, the cherries are different on there. Yeah. The way they're clustered differently. That is a pin cherry tree. Yeah, Although well, they, they don't grow very big. They look like they are pins attached to. Yeah, I've uh, seen small. others yeah. around here. Um, yeah. They're similar. They're uh, they're just as edible. Uh, might not uh -huh. be flavored quite as well. There's another one. Yeah, I'm surprised. I hadn't noticed them. Let yeah. me sample one. Because I know what they are. They're not poisonous. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> not great, but not bad. Three little pits in it. Yeah. Well, if I it's edible and it tastes decent, then that is... I didn't realize that some of these were actually pin cherries. But oh, now, yeah. that, now that they're fruiting like this, you can see it. Yeah. But I know it, it is a different species, and they don't get very big. Yeah. So I assume that the black ones are the ripe ones. Yeah. 
Well, what you notice is that they don't ripen all at the same pace on the same plant. Whereas yeah. when you're looking at the uh, the black cherries there, yeah, there might be choke cherries in here too. Yeah. But the black, they'll all work in the jam together. But you notice the ones on the same tree are all at about the same stage. If you yeah. look at another tree, it might be a little bit different. But when you look at the pin cherries, they're a little more helter skelter. There's a lot of pin cherry there. Cool. <laughs> but yeah. Pin cherry doesn't really get big enough to turn it, but I can uh, I can see what it looks like. <sighs> I might be able to turn something out of it. I just don't know if I can get enough a big enough piece to evaluate it yeah. as a turning wood. If I understand correctly, it's not as good as a black cherry. See, look at this. This. Oh I yeah, that that's that loaded. Cherries. That's, that's loaded. loaded. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all that. Just a there's a lot there, yeah. Cluster of them. And if you if you recall down by the river, that one growing on the corner of the bridge there, yeah, that was just absolutely packed with cherries too. <laughs> yeah. It was kind of cool. Now this is where I've seen the pin cherries before in the bush here, but I hadn't seen the ones along the road. I just wasn't that observant. Yeah. So, yeah. At least you're bright enough to tell, notice the difference. Uh huh. Because they are a different species. We have three species here in New Brunswick. There's choke cherries, there's pin cherries, and there's uh, the black cherries. And the black cherries. That looks like thing. another. Uh, yeah, that's pin the cherry. pin cherry that yeah. I knew from before. I knew <laughs> that was here. Hmm. Yeah. So oh, interesting. Yeah, I might mm -hmm. be able to get a big enough chunk somewhere to turn. Yeah. Anyway, you about ready to turn around. Yeah, it's been recording for 12 minutes. <laughs> oh, good. So, yeah. Anyway, we're going to end this video here. I hope you liked it. Um, anyway. I will see you later. <laughs>